Well, howdy, Capricorn. How's it going? It's your friend Dharma Jane here to do a mid month spread for you for sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I'm also inviting the energies of Jupiter in Capricorn to uh, come along. Venus is the feminine, Jupiter is the masculine. We might as well invite everybody up in here. This is also good for cross watchers. Um, cross watcher beware. Um, but if, uh, if this resonates for you, please do subscribe. It gives me a little motivation to keep pumping out videos. And if you uh, want your own private reading, um, you can find me at dharmajane.com. Calling in guides, calling in angels, calling in anyone from the highest good. Okay. Cappies are wishing on a star. It's like, when is Jupiter going to fill up my bucket? We were promised that Jupiter was going to come in and fill up some buckets in November. My bucket is empty. Why? Not, it's not fair. It's like all these things that are going on, I keep getting promised by these tarot readers that everything is going to change. It's not changing. Jupiter didn't bring anything in my bucket. I feel like a kid on Christmas that got cold. No love. Some found out something about a king of cups. But you know what? That cycle is done. Yeah, I'm going to be one of those tarot readers that says that. Because I, I, I feel like it is. But the doneness doesn't come from the actions of other people changing things. The doneness comes from Cappy changing their thought process. It's like I can see a Capricorn or two just like writing down, like they have a thought and they write it down, they have another thought and write it down, and then they read it back and they're like, dang, that was negative. Everything I just said to myself in my head was negative. And so they start changing how they think instead of saying, dag on it, it's cold outside and it's a polar vortex. They're like, cool, look at the polar vortex, you know? Because they're done, because I think this is like, there's no more room to carry any more burdens. There's no more room to have anyone else stab you in the back. Like, all I have is shade. And some cappies are at the end of their rope, like calling out, like, what do I need to do to change this life? What do I need to do to change these circumstances? And spirit is calling back, like, manifest. Bacock, manifest. It's like a parrot. Manifest. You want love? Manifest. <laughs> you want life? Manifest. Polly wants a cracker? Manifest. How do you manifest? Dude, YouTube law of attraction. Educate yourself. Because you're not, you keep getting these disappointing offers. You're getting like karma, disappointment, empty cups. Because it's because the, the Capricorns that I'm speaking for right now are calling in people that are vibrating on the same low level that they're vibrating on. And I can, like, I, and I, so, so let's say a bunch of stuff happens and you keep getting in these crappy situations and it makes you think like life sucks. This sucks. That sucks. You suck. They suck. All of this is just crap. And then, so you're vibrating in that level. And then you meet somebody who's like, this sucks, that sucks, they suck, you suck. And you're like, wow, you're kind of negative. That's not what I want in my life. Except there's a failure to realize that you have called in your exact match. So if, if you look around and people, the people that are around you are being negative and feeling negative, it's because you're, you're vibrating around those kind of people. And then when you start to change your vibration, you notice that new people start to come into your life. And I think that maybe that like sparks something in some Capricorns, like being at this place where I'm like, I'm releasing that karmic cycle 
because I'm done being disappointed. I'm done not being fulfilled. And so they get this little manifest parrot and they're like, okay, okay, okay. And then I see just people educating themselves over and over again because they don't know what it is that they're doing wrong and it's making them feel really weak. I think that some of you aren't liking what I'm having to say here because they, there was a hope to move forward and maybe start something new. Yeah, see, but it's not coming because it's not balanced because we haven't ended this phase of this negative vibration. And justice is here. Like we want the universe wants to bring you what you want. It's just a, it's a matter of how it's being presented to the unit. It's a, your thought process. Yeah. Damn. Bam. Right there. We have independence right there. We have the choice to no longer accept these kind of cups of love, the choice to start to love the self and learning how to do this manifestation thing. And then you have the fool. Bam, 10 of cups, bam, page of cups. There's your offer. Everything suddenly flipped up, right? See how that works? All this negative energy, all the negative thoughts bring you negative outcomes. You have the realization, you have the understanding, and then bam, all of a sudden, 10 of cups, page of cups, fool, like almost all at once to where all of a sudden you're no longer defensive and you're no longer, um, but with the four cups being down here and justice in reverse as an outcome, it's like a, it's a little bit of a warning. Like if you want victory and you want your soulmate, you got to learn how to manifest correctly. Damn. I love how that came out. Magician in reverse. Two sixes. If you want your sixes, sixes are what we aim for. That's the victory, the recognition, the soulmate, the love, the togetherness, the victory. You, there, you gotta, there. We gotta learn how to manifest different friends. Google law of attraction. Um, I want to talk about somebody that is around you. This is what I'm talking about. When you vibrate in a, at a particular way and you dress away and you look away and you do things away, you tend to attract like minds and there needs to be a real assessment about whether those like minds are the minds that you want to portray. Because as of right now, you're, it's depression. It's nightmarish. It's not, it's not positive. And so you have the, the failing the sip here. She's, this is someone who like, she's flying up this away and she gets this like idea. And then she goes and flies right into this. This is super earthy, super cappy, like getting back into vibrating on this level of hell. Yeah. Instead of, you know, heck no. This is the change. Normally I would talk about this guy being a poet, but this time I want to talk about Taeyong the poet being about staying out of trouble. And my trouble, especially with them being like that, I think, I think we need to reassess who we're hanging out with because who we're hanging out with is the energy that we're calling in. And that would be karma. Karma sticks like glue. So it's talking about watching your P's and Q's and, and considering who you're hanging out with, what kind of spiritual connections do you have right now? Are they the kind of less, or is it the kind of spiritual connection that's always teaching you a lesson or are they your friends? You know, are they the ones that make you feel better? And so this is talking about going within and figuring out what your highest self is and then expressing that even if it's against this grain, because especially if the, if these mind frames are the ones that are keeping you down, when you become your own, you're going to attract new. 
Yeah, see the fawn? Yeah, you're going to attract new buddies. You get a whole new group of buddies. And I bet you there's a Romeo in those buddies. But you have to, you got to break free. Yeah, break free, singer of initiation. You got to break, you got to pass the test. And the test is learning who you are in, in the deepest of the deepest ways and then vibrating differently. And, and it will be shocking to you how quickly things change when you change your vibration. Shocking. Like, gotcha. Life is great. You're like, oh, shit. It really is. I wasn't ready for that because that's not what I'm used to. So I think the advice here, Cappy, is to um, really do some research on manifestation, law of attraction specifically. Okay, that's all I have for you. If you want a private reading, it's at dharmajane.com. And if you like what you're seeing, subscribe. Till next time, bye.